All righty, thank you for joining me for this video. If you have clicked on this because someone has shared it, welcome to my channel. I am making this video for a very important reason today. I am sure if you are from Ontario or Canada, you have seen some of the clickbait titles on some social media platforms uh, claiming that the rides could be unsafe at Canada's Wonderland or rides stuck upside down, rides stuck with riders dangling 136 feet in the air. One of those clickbait titles um, and you've probably questioned, are the rides at Wonderland safe? Well, I'm here today to explain why they are extremely safe. And I'm going to go into about as much detail as I possibly can because I don't work for Canada's Wonderland um, and I don't have an engineering degree, so I'm not going to be able to describe it in utter detail. But I got some notes here and I'm going to explain everything I know, everything that I've been told. Um, and etc. But to start it off, we are running a really big giveaway to get this message out there because this message needs to get out there. I am going to personally give away one fast lane um, to someone. I'm also going to give away some Squishmallows from Canada's Wonderland. And I'm also going to give away some Amusement Insiders merch. So to enter, all you have to do is cl uh, click subscribe. <laughs> Share this video, like, and comment. Do those four things, and I'm going to pick someone that has done those four things um, and enter them into a giveaway for these three prizes. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. The share is the most important one, so please do that. Um, but let's get right into it. I'm sure you've seen some of the articles or TikTok videos going around of this specific ride on the screen. This ride is called Lumberjack. Um, and if you saw some of those TikToks, you saw it stuck upside down. And yes, to anyone that doesn't know anything about rides, that seems pretty frightening. I mean, if I didn't know anything about rides, I'd be pretty frightened by that. In fact, when my car makes weird noises, I know nothing about my car. I panic and I take it in. Well, well, the good news is there are people that know things about cars, just like there are people that know things about theme parks, rides, and roller coasters. So for this specific ride, I'm just going to go into a little detail right now in case I don't have the attention for 20 minutes of this video of some viewers. This ride has a safety feature um, that allows it to come back home when it's stuck upside down. So if this ride e-stops, you'll hear that a lot in this video, an emergency stop. So all rides have computer systems. So if the computer system deems something is unsafe or something's wrong, it will e-stop. And if it e-stops upside down, the employee in the booth actually has a button um, that allows them to bring it back home. It'll be an emergency release button that safely brings it back down. In this instant, all the riders that were in that video that you saw online, those very short, un <laughs> edited videos that literally left out a lot of detail, the riders came back and they were all safe and they were given free things, I presume. Um, but that is something that a lot of people don't know about this ride. So yes, they were stuck upside down for probably 20 seconds, <laughs> and then the ride came back down. That's what this ride does. It, it, it happens. It happens at every ride, any ride, any theme park around the world. That's what ride safety features are designed to do. Because if something goes wrong on the ride, and the ride doesn't know something's wrong, and it continues through its cycle, that's a lot more dangerous than emergency stopping. And then they can read the air code of exactly what's wrong, and then bring the ride back down. So I just wanted to go over that quickly for you guys. I'm going to talk about a little more details later on, but I'm going to move into ride safety. So I'm going to list something very quickly that I'll also link down below. It's a CBC article on Canada's Wonderland, and it describes in detail that Canada's Wonderland has actually one of the safest track records in North America for ride safety, which is a very good title to have. It's actually had next to no accidents. It's actually had no accidents since opening in 1981. Um, no deaths caused by a ride as well. That's a very high regard to safety that this park has. Um, and they are held to really high standards, especially by TSSA. A lot of you may not know what that is, but TSSA basically sets these standards and guidelines for Canada's Wonderland um, and under other amusement parks in Canada and Ontario. And Wonderland has a really close relationship with them. Restraints. Okay, so the most common complaint or 
thing you'll see online, story time that you'll see on TikTok or something, is my restraint came undone on a roller coaster. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that if you see that or you hear that from a friend, that is simply false. Restraints cannot come undone, especially at a ride at Canada's Wonderland. There are so many safety features in place. In fact, I'll just go over the safety features that are on every roller coaster, especially in North America, and that is two locking mechanisms, one on the right and one on the left. Um, if one fails, it's got another. And especially at Canada's Wonderland, if both fail, which is next to impossible, you have the seatbelt, which will hold the restraint in place. I'll go into a little more detail. If you even get some of these more modern roller coasters, some of them use... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong down below. I know there's probably engineers watching this cringing, but they use a mnemonic lock system. Again, I totally said that wrong, but basically you'll get three clicks and that's almost like three fail safes if the restraint were to even unlock. Now, what some of these people may be experiencing is sometimes if you're a little larger or the restraint went down one, uh, an extra click because you're smaller, sometimes it doesn't fully click. When you feel your restraint comes slightly looser or it pops into a, a slightly looser position, which could be that alarming experience that a lot of people um, are worried about, it's actually just the restraint popping back into the other lock. So again, picture almost like something pop, 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 pop coming down on you. So if you picture your restraint, it comes down on you. As it moves down, it's moving into slots. So it's like slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. So if you were slot four, but you weren't fully slot four, what happens is that restraint will pop back into slot three, usually during a moment of airtime, going up the lift hill or going down the drop. The restraint will not come undone. It is next to impossible. Literally, the universe would have to hate you and be out to get you for it to happen. And it's just literally impossible. Um, but nonetheless, um, the restraint has those safety features. And again, that is probably the most common experience when you do hear someone say, my restraint came undone on this ride. It's just it loosening up by one notch. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If you guys have any like urban legends or like things you've heard your friends say, please comment them down below. I would love to talk to you about them or just even educate you as the best of my ability on anything that, that can probably explain a situation that you may have had at a theme park involving safety. I would love to have a conversation. So if you have a story, comment down below and I can debunk it. I promise you. Um, so... Uh, let's go into ride sensors. So this is a lot that uh, this is something that a lot of the average person that goes to Canada's Wonderland probably doesn't understand. And those are ride sensors. So the rides are extremely intelligent, which actually is part of the reason why they're extremely safe. For example, the ride you're looking at right now, Behemoth, you'll notice these little green boxes. They're really small, so you have to look for them. They'll be along the track of the ride. You'll see them almost everywhere, specifically before breaks or um, up the lift hill or just at sections where it's just tracking where the ride is. Consider those little green sensors as almost like eyeballs. So it's like the eyes of the ride. Underneath every roller coaster or in some location of a roller coaster that you can't see, there will be a computer system. For a coaster like this, it's a really big computer system. It looks like something that would like house like nuclear warheads big. It's a very big membrane. Consider that the brain. So what these green sensors do is they communicate with the brain of the ride to tell the ride and the ride operator exactly where the trains are on the track. So it knows where the trains are and it knows the speed they're going at. What happens if a roller coaster is moving slower or too fast is an e-stop. Again, you heard me label that at the beginning of the video, an emergency stop. So it'll be like, hey, there could be something wrong. Let's stop this ride. So the ride will come to a complete stop. The brakes at the next brake section will stop the ride and it'll allow maintenance to get the people off the ride safely and inspect the ride. A lot of the times, sensors can be triggered for false warnings. Again, that's just one of their safety features. So if you ever see a ride stopped, most of the times, it's actually nothing. 
Some of the times, it's something really small. Again, just running a little slower, like high wind speeds. So if you ever see a ride down, that's usually one of the main reasons, especially in a place like Canada's Wonderland, high wind speeds would be a reason that the ride would be down. So it'll be like the computer or the wind will trigger the park to say, hey, the ride can't operate safely in this wind because it could valley. So if you ever see a ride, for example, you've probably seen this at Canada's Wonderland or a lot of other parks. It happens a lot more frequently, but because of TikTok and social media, you're seeing it more now, which makes people question the safety. But in reality, this has been happening forever. (laughs) Rides, because of wind or other reasons, will come to a complete stop, not making it through the course of the ride. Typically, it does happen without guests on it. But for a ride like the Bat at Canada's Wonderland, you'll actually notice exit platforms, almost like platforms at specific locations on the ride because the ride could simply valley and it's extremely normal. And when I say normal, I don't mean it's meant to do that. I just mean it's not the end of the world and nothing unsafe about it ending its course or not making through its course at those moments. You'll be evac'd from that ride within 20 minutes at best. Um, But... Nonetheless, I know I'm missing some details here, but I really just wanted to debunk a lot of these rumors. So the ride sensors are actually really cool if you're a nerd like me or into rides or like really into roller coasters because it's virtually impossible for a roller coaster to collide with another train. So one train cannot collide with another train because the brain knows where they are at all times. If you ever notice you're stuck at the top of this brake run on Behemoth and you're like, why can't we advance forward? Well, that's because the brain of the ride is saying, hey, there's a train just around the corner keep your distance. (laughs) So uh, the ride will prevent your train um, from moving. Let's say the brakes on the train on the top don't unlock because, hey, the ride just breaks sometimes, the ride malfunctions, um, and the brain will actually prevent the train going along the track from coming and hitting the train, so it'll actually stop the other train on the mid-course brake run, that tall straight section before the helix and the turns coming back towards the brake run. So Roller coasters essentially are extremely safe, and I hope I've just explained that to the best of my ability in a very clear way, but getting in an accident on a roller coaster at a park like Canada's Wonderland, virtually impossible. Your restraint coming done at Canada's Wonderland or any other park in North America, virtually impossible. Um, Rides breaking down, extremely normal. How often does your car break down? How often have you been uh, ready to go on an airplane for a trip and suddenly they've delayed your flight by 30 minutes because they have to fix a part on the, the airplane? It's, it's extremely common and the same thing happens with rides. In fact, the more moving parts that a ride has, the more likely it's going to go down for some downtime. Um, which can be frustrating. I get it. Waiting in line and then the ride breaking down, it can be frustrating. But a lot of people don't understand that this is extremely normal. Um, Maintenance. So are Canada's Wonderland's rides safe? Yes, they're extremely safe. For another reason, they go through daily, nightly, and yearly checks. So daily and nightly, maintenance will walk the ride, inspect the ride, Um, replace any parts that need to be replaced. It is so thorough that even ride operators at theme parks in North America are test riders and will listen for any noises that don't belong. And it's just, there's so many fail safes and so many checks. It's like the most safest thing you could possibly do. And on top of that, every year, a park like Canada's Wonderland actually takes apart all of the trains and a lot of the moving parts of rides and completely rebuilds them. So it's like a fresh pair of eyes on these trains and on these rides that it's completely getting rebuilt and inspected. So it's actually a very thorough inspection, a lot more than these traveling fares or um, other forms of transportation out there. All right. (laughs) Let's go into some details. So a lot of recent attention has been on Canada's Wonderland, especially for a ride called Skyhawk. So in fact, this one is a little bit more cringy than the other one. So when I saw that Skyhawk was trending because it got stuck at the top of the tower, um, that is so 
minor and so normal that it's just like the fact that these these websites and these news places are sharing it as if it's some big news. Um, that again is an e stop. So what can trigger an e stop on a ride like that is high winds. So for a ride that has cables, any time that a wind gets really high, uh, the ride will e stop because they don't want the cables to move around too much. And then when deemed safe, the ride will come down slowly. You'll always see these rides come down slowly. In fact, its neighbor, Windseeker, at 301 feet tall, you'll see that ride get stuck at the top as well. And what that is, is probably high winds or, you know, a sensor goes, hey, something's wrong. And then, you know, they read the air code and then they bring the ride down safely. Again, these are all safety features that are designed to keep you safe on these rides and attractions. And everything I'm talking about in this video today isn't just Canada's Wonderland, by the way, but Canada's Wonderland does have one of the safest track records out there. And that's why I'm just talking about it. Um, these are things in place at most theme parks and if not all theme parks in North America. Let's say you're walking in Medieval Fair and you see Leviathan stuck on its lift hill. Very normal. If you see Leviathan stuck on the lift hill, it is most likely because of a cell phone um, or someone not having their mask on this season. What they do is they'll stop the ride. There's cameras going up the lift hill. They'll probably do it on Yukon too sometimes or even Mindbuster a lot. Um, is if you have your phone out, they'll stop the ride because having a loose article or your phone out is dangerous for the people behind you. So if you're watching this video, as tempting as it may be to film yourself on a ride, please do not. Because if that phone flies out of your hand and hits someone behind you, it is going to do some major damage. Just look it up online. There was incidents at a Six Flags park last year where someone got severely injured. It's happened at a lot of parks, actually. People pull out their phone, they think they're doing something innocent, and then suddenly you hurt someone really badly behind you. And trust me, and nowadays with the parks having rules of no loose articles, you are responsible for hurting someone behind you, and I wouldn't want to go to jail simply for a YouTube video or a TikTok. So please, if you could just try and work on one thing is don't have loose articles or your phone out on a roller coaster or ride at Canada's Wonderland. It is a lot more dangerous than you think. Going at these speeds, you could really hurt someone behind you. So we just discussed it. Leviathan, Mindbuster, any roller coaster at Wonderland, you see it stopped on the lift hill, most likely a phone out. If it's not a phone out, it's just an e-stop or something needs to be quickly replaced or checked or cleared by maintenance. Usually it's an air code. Air codes could be triggered by sometimes a bird flying by a sensor. It's literally any little thing can trigger anything. These rides aren't going to break on you. They're not going to kill you. Um, they are extremely safe. So I just wanted to, to, to go into that. Rides closed a lot. You go to Canada's Wonderland and a lot of their rides are closed. Well, um, the most classic example I can think of, it's cloudy and suddenly all the rides in the park went down. The average guest doesn't see thunder or lightning, so they start complaining, well, why are you going down for thunder or lightning if there's no thunder or lightning? Well, a park like Canada's Wonderland actually has a weather station and advanced radar system. If they see thunderstorm system over them or within a certain distance of the park, they shut all the rides down because you don't want to be on a roller coaster, a giant hunk of metal in a lightning storm and the park's not going to put you in any danger either so if one is heading above the park or heading close to the park they shut everything down for your safety and uh, I, I appreciate that and I think you should as well so I just wanted to get that in there because a lot of people I've noticed will complain if they don't see the lightning why are the rides closed well there's a much deeper and logical explanation than you think <laughs> If another ride's closed, it could be simply waiting on a replacement part. Something breaks like a motor or something and they just need to order it and wait on the replacement part. That's another reason as to why you might see your favorite attraction on your visit down. Very simple, just waiting on a replacement part. Just like if your car needs a replacement part, sometimes it takes a couple of days. Um, ride removals. If you see a ride removed from Wonderland, it is not because it's dangerous. In fact, most rides removed from Wonderland have been sold to other parks. Usually Wonderland, a park like Canada's Wonderland, will remove rides um, simply because they've gotten um, old to the this park. Because again, a lot of people don't know this, but Canada's Wonderland is actually the most attended seasonal theme park in North America. Um, so it's several reasons it's gotten old to a park like this. It doesn't fit in their lineup anymore. It has low capacity um, or low ridership, so not a lot of people are riding it anymore. Um, or that it's 
to make way for a new attraction, i.e., uh, Skyrider got removed to make way for Yukon Striker, and Skyrider was sold to a park in Italy. I think that pretty much sums up everything. So, again, I really wanted to make this video because things were trending on social media. TikTok has taken this park by storm. Everyone is saying Canada's Wonderland's dangerous. My restraint came undone. The ride got stuck. And I really just had to come out here and explain from someone that goes to a theme park way too much and has gotten to talk to a lot of people at various theme parks in Ontario and even in North America, I've started to understand how things work a lot better and I wanted to take what I knew, it's not perfect, it's not everything and it's not detailed, um, and I just wanted to present it because when you go to Canada's Wonderland, the one thing I know is I am safe and they care about my safety because no park out there wants anyone to get hurt, trust me. It is not any theme park's goal for anyone to get hurt on a ride, and they will do everything in their power to make sure you do not. And on top of that, the ride manufacturers that design these rides have done everything in their power to make sure you do not get hurt as well. In fact, I'll even go further to say a park like Canada's Wonderland only buys rides that are really reliable, so the extra little mm, to safety. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to say that this video was not sponsored or encouraged by Canada's Wonderland in any form. I made this solely based on my decision. I wanted to get this message out there. It truly hurts me as a theme park fan and a huge fan of Canada's Wonderland and someone that has gone for so many years to see the park being trashed and dragged online for something that is simply non-existent. Um, this park meant a lot to my father and I unfortunately lost my father at a very young age and I just, it just, it's something really deep for me and just to see the amount of misinformation out there about such a safe place it's truly upsetting so i just i really just I, I know it sounds really nerdy for me to come out here and defend a theme park but this park means a lot more to me than anything you could possibly imagine these some of my last memories with my father are at this theme park so yeah i just wanted to explain that because i know a lot of people are going to be like, why are you defending Wonderland? Well, it's, it's a lot deeper than that. And I, truly, I know a lot of people that work at this park too. And it's just, it's an amazing place. It's a really safe place. And it honestly, it's so great for our province and our country. It employs so many people. And it's just got so much potential. And honestly, you got to go experience it. We've been locked up for so long. Go to Canada's Wonderland. Have a day out. Go get a cookie witch or a funnel cake. Walk around the park even if you're not into rides. Or, you know, they've got rides for everyone, young and old. And, yeah, now I am starting to sound sponsored. This isn't sponsored. I just love the place. Just go to Canada's Wonderland. Enjoy your summer. Have fun. It's been so long. And, um, yeah. Again, if there's anything I haven't answered, comment down below and I will try and get you an answer. Even if I have to ask someone else, I will try and answer all the questions to the best of my ability. Share this video. Please get this message out. Um, and uh, just remember, we're doing a giveaway. So comment, like, share, and subscribe. Do those four things. I've got some awesome prizes. Again, the prizes aren't sponsored by Candace Wonderland. I'm buying these with my own money. Um, a fast lane, um, some Squishmallows, and some Amusement Insiders merch. So thank you so much. If you're a new subscriber, hopefully you enjoyed this video and ask any questions. If you're an old subscriber, um, thank you so much for helping me um, on Instagram a lot. So many people have been liking our responses to some of these networks, posting some negative news about Wonderland. It almost feels like a huge army. So if you could do one last favor for me and share this video to as many people as possible to get the message out, let's get this message out so we don't have to fight on social media anymore. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my video. Thanks so much um, for just being a huge part of my life and uplifting me so I can start to uplift others. Have a good one, guys. Bye.